In today's video, we're taking a look at the Intex Deluxe Automatic Pool Cleaner ZX300. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So the good thing about this machine is set it and forget it. According to the manufacturer, it has a 700 gallon an hour water power suction. It's all wheel drive and it requires a minimum pump flow rate between 1600 to a maximum of 3,500 gallons per hour. But the plus on this particular vacuum is that it climbs the sidewall meaning that debris, dirt, algae, or grime can't hide. In our case, we're using it with the Summer Waves 2000 gallon pump. If you wanna check out that video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And also, if you wanna check out our pool maintenance video, daily, weekly, and monthly, we'll leave a link on the description for that video as well. In our next video, we're gonna show how to install this particular vacuum in a summer waves pool. We'll leave a link on the description of this video as well. So the first thing that we get in the box is barbecue paper. I mean, the owner's manual. As you can see, it has four wheels that all rotate when powered and are able, just like a Bigfoot truck, go over any leaves or little debris without any issues. If you compare this to the older model, this one does have a modern look. And this little apparatus is fighting out of Intex Corporation Company with a fighting weight of 16.41 pounds, which when submerged on the water is very light, especially when it doesn't need you to move it. We have a double action brush system in the front and in the back. As it moves, the brushes turn and help pick up any debris or leaves located at the bottom and on the side of the pool. If we flip this aquatic vehicle, we're gonna notice it has two latches on both sides that marked on the filter cap shows you where they need to be placed to unlock and to lock. And in this case, one locks to one side and the other one to the other. So just like the Simpsons plant, one lever up and one lever down. Once we do that, the filter housing comes right off. And as you can see, is a mesh style filter that not only catches the debris, but lets the water pass. As you can see, we have a white plated, powerful 700 gallon hour motor powered by water, providing very low engine noise. And contrary to popular belief, this works with the power of the water coming out your filter pump. Whereas manual systems work with the suction inlet of your filter pump. So this provides a one-two punch to the cleanness and the clarity of your pool water. Meaning, as your pool filter pump cleans, also does your automatic pool vacuum. The brushes are easily removed for easy cleaning, which is basically pressure washing it with your water hose until it gives up. I mean, until it comes out fully cleaned. At the bottom, we have some small flaps that help with the debris cleanup. And also on the package, you have extra ones in case they are lost or injured in battle. If we take a look at the top of the cyber truck, I mean the pool vacuum, we'll notice there's a little ball inside of it. This is what helps with navigation. At the top, we have the inlet and on the side, we have the outlet. And at the back, we have a big round handle, which makes it a lot easier to transport from one location to the other. According to the manufacturer, we have a hose that measures 21 feet 4 inches, which can be cut to your pool's particular size. Also in the box, we have the connection adapter, which makes connecting and disconnecting the holes a lot easier, but most importantly, creates a secure hookup. So basically what you do is disconnect your pool's outlet adapter and place the vacuum's outlet adapter. And it's very simple to do because it's a twist system. And remember the ancient rule of lefty loosey righty tighty. In our case, when we're not using the pool vacuum, Vacuum, we leave the adapter connected so it's ready for war the next time that the vacuum is sent to action. Once the adapter is connected, we go ahead and connect the hose as well and the other side connected to the vacuum pump. We're ready to send this truck to do our work for us. 
Meanwhile, we lounge back, grab a nice, cold, bubbly, liquid gold bottle of sparkling water. We go ahead and turn on the pool pump, and it's basically hands off from there on. It's gonna submerge directly to the bottom and from there on navigate its way all around the pool, bottom and side walls by itself. And what it's basically doing is pushing any air in the hose from the truck's outlet until it grips on the floor and starts moving forward. So that's basically another plus where compared to other vacuums, you have to remove the air from the hose to start working. And we've been testing this vacuum for a couple of weeks now, and we can say that every time that we go to the pool, it's so surprising how we don't see any debris or leaves on the pool. Plus our maintenance steps, it's always nice to see a crystal clear pool without any debris. And we can say that in our backyard, trees govern our patio. So not having to skim the pool all the time manually or by the pump's action is a plus. Now that we let the vacuum know its terrain, we're ready to take it out and verify its catch. See if it caught anything that'll take us to retirement way quicker. So we basically unlock the cap from the vacuum, flip it over, and you're gonna see some tabs at the sides of the filter mesh, which you pull and have access to the inside. As you can see, we caught some dirt, some leaves, some sand, but no Rolex. It didn't even catch us a cold, bubbly, liquid gold, sparkling water, which are the two major flaws of this vacuum. But on the cleaning side, it does get a A+. And to clean it, we use the same technique we use on our filter cartridges. We spray them down until their nakedness. I mean, until they give up the information. I mean, until they look clean. We also do that for the cap as well. And basically, once clean, we just reverse engineer our way to glory. I mean, to us sitting down and lounging, meanwhile, it does all the work. And just like a good employee, we send it back to work without pay. I mean, you should always follow the rules and regulation of your city, state, country, or any ordinance that the law requires. Happy employee, happy boss. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Static Box team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.